I went ten minutes ago. I'm just recording cash in the dustbin. That's a load of rubbish, that. You haven't even got your jacket on yet. Get hey. up here. No, I'm doing yes. this. Put that down. No, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, let, let where's go. on the street is? Prime Minister. We'll take part in. Yo, 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 m ms brand new beekeeping project. <laughs> there. There's nothing like a job well done. And this is nothing like a job well done. Stupid Get thing. Coming to a universe near you. Pray. <laughs> huh? Ha, sucker! <laughs> More awesome pranks Friday at seven. Pranked. You'd be an idiot to miss it. You'd have to be an idiot to fall for pranks like that. Now, come on, we'll be in trouble if we're late. You weren't joking when you said we were going to be in trouble. No, no, no. We haven't done anything. That's usually why people get upset. I mean, we haven't done anything wrong. Then why are we here? We're extras in a police identity parade. Look, if somebody said they've seen a crime, they got to prove they did by picking them out of a lineup of people with the same description. So everybody should look the same? Yep. I'm not sure about this, Paul. If we just stand here and get ten pounds. What if we get picked out? Then we get ten years. <laughs> Only joking. It's more like fifteen. Ah, Mr Chuckle and Mr Other Chuckle, thank you for coming in. We'll uh, just get this bit over and done with and then I'll sort out your payments. Oh, and then escort you to free tea and biscuits. Biscuits? That's worth the risk of wrongful lifetime imprisonment. Please, madam, this way. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if she picked you out? <laughs> It was him! <laughs> and him! Hey? Oh. There must be some kind of mistake, officer. Shh. Wait for the tape. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, uh, wrong button. And he accuses us of having a criminal record. Right. Interview with the notorious and, let's be honest, absolutely guilty Chuckle Brothers, conducted by myself, Sergeant Gully, 20th of March. Isn't there anything we can do to prove our innocence? Well, there is, uh, there is one thing. Put your left arm in. Left arm out. In, out, in, out. You shake it all about. You do the okie cokey and you turn around. Oh, oh ah, ah, you stupid oh, thing. Oh, oh, oh. As I thought. Utterly guilty. You should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no good, Barry. You're going to have to confess. But I haven't done anything. What? Never? Ever? Never? No. Yes, what about years ago? Oh, I once opened all the doors on my advent calendar on the 1st of December, and then Auntie Mary, I took her wig and glued it on Uncle Harry's chin while he was asleep. What about when you wet yourself? Oh, in the top inference, I wet myself and blamed it on the gerbil. Oh, it's outrageous. Not really. You should have seen that gerbil. Nasty piece of work, wasn't it? Mm. Not that! I'm talking about the fact that you haven't realised... ...that I'm Kurt Kitchen, and you've been pranked, dudes! <laughs> prank, prank, oh. prank! Prank, prank, <laughs> prank! Where's the camera? I'm Kurt Kitchen, and you got pranked, dude! <laughs> On behalf of uh, Kurt and me, Imelda Malone, producer of the show, I'd just like to say we thought you were absolutely amazing. Thank, Thank you very you much. much. being dim. Uh, You're going to make 36 million viewers laugh very hard. And as a little token of our appreciation... I, I think we're going to get what we deserve. Quick, run for it. Da, 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 da. There. Now you can think of the number one show in the world while you... Uh, Couldn't uh, we get a bigger thank you? Oh, look, it's Kurt! Imelda. Imelda, you have to deal with this immediately. Uh, like, hello! Uh, chumps! Chuckles. Chuckles. Like, whatever. Wow, look! <laughs> ah, major look! You like totally been pranked, dudes! Again! Like, no way! <laughs> now, what was I doing? 
Oh yeah. 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 Imelda. Oh. Oh. No need to say thank you. Do you mind if I have that? Eh? What? Genuine celebrities, not that. Make a fortune on Sneeze Bay. Let's just check up how we're doing on Sneeze Bay. <coughs> well, 20 pounds for a manky hanky. You can't say fairer than that. I can. Fairer than that. I mean, it's not to be sniffed at. That's not the only thing. What's up with you? I'm worried people might treat us differently now they know we've been caught by one of Kirk Kitchen's pranks. Don't be ridiculous. They'll treat you exactly the same way as they always have done. Like the complete and utter idiot you are. Let's put the chips on and we'll have some telly for tea. Breaking news. Panic. Alien spacecraft have been sighted over Rotherham. Rotherham? Why over Rotherham? Well, Rotherham United are playing very well at the moment. Hey, yes. Top of the league, they probably come and see the match. 25 goals. Government advice is to stay indoors and... Oh, dear. If they get hold of us, they'll transport us up to the spaceship and run some horrible tests on us. What, like sats? Apparently they're not too bad if you revise. Oh, it's the aliens! Have you seen something? Oh, you're standing on my toe! No. Oh, sorry. It's the extraterrestrial! Oh, Jamie Oliver coming to check if we're eating too many chips. It's so unfair, Barry. I'm going to be taken before my time. There's so many things left unfinished. So many things I'll never get a chance to do. Like. Like. Finish my cheesy puffs. Oi! They're my cheesy puffs. No, they're not, they're mine. Come here, come here, come here! Come here, come here! You know, I'm not happy about this. I'm really beside myself. No, you're not. You're beside me. Imelda! Hey, chumps! Chuckles. Chuckles? Like, whatever. Hey, awesome job on believing the aliens were invading. Put it there. Come on. No hard feelings? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> ah! oh, sorry, dude. I totally forgot that was there. Got a shocking memory. <laughs> Imelda! 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 You know, I wish we could prank him. Show him how it feels to be treated like this. You can't treat me like this. I want my own helicopter. Or I'm leaving the show. Fine. Leave the show. You were just a paper boy in Manchester when I met you, Kurt Kitchen. Or should I say Colin Smith? I made you and I can break you. I can make a star out of anyone. Yeah, right, anyone. I'm serious. Take those two inside, for example. Us? Oh! Them? Yeah, I can see it now. Get rid of you and give the Chuckle Brothers their own show. But they're idiots. Yes, they are idiots. But that idiot thing is very charming. Very now. In fact, if you don't wise up, I might just walk back in there and offer them the job. Huh? Did you hear that, Barry? We're going to be stars! Stars! We'll be twice as big as that Kurt. Well, there's two of us for a start. Exactly. Come on. Do you mind? OK. OK, you don't have to buy me a helicopter. Don't give away my show. I'll behave. Good boy. Here. No, it's not a helicopter. But it is a celebrity's dream ticket to spars in their eyes. After a stay there, you'll feel like a new presenter. Helicopter, give me strength. Or give me a nice relaxing session at spars in their eyes. Hmm. I'm doing it all right. What's that? <laughs> You thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know. What are you thinking? I think we should go down spars in their eyes, prank Kurt, get our own back, 
film it, then show it to the producer and get our own TV show. That's not what I was thinking. What were you thinking? I was thinking that helicopter is a funny word. What do you mean? Helicopter. 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 We'll do your thing. <laughs> Why do I have to be the girl? Because. Because nobody would accept me as a girl, would they? Not a man of my stature and masculine bearing. You couldn't fit in the dress, could you? Ingrowing toenail. Here we go, Barry. Get this right and it's TV stardom, here we come. Got the camera? Yep. Camera, action. Right. Welcome to Shot. <laughs> We're here today to give Kurt Kitchen, top celebrity, a taste of his own medicine. I thought we were here to make him look like an idiot. I mean, we're here to pay him back. Pay him back after the way he treated us? We should keep his money. Give me that. I am Sven from Sweden. I am Ethel. From Rotherham. We're here to give you the special treatment. A very special treatment. First, we carefully remove any stray hairs. Apply the exclusive colour treatment. <laughs> and now for the unique detox face pack. What did you put in it, Paul? Just the usual cat food and ice cream. Hey, chumps! Chumps! Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Imelda? <gasps> no way! <gasps> Who did this? Not me. Not me. What did you put in it for? Just the usual. Cat food and ice cream. Oh, hey, hey, great prank. <laughs> You've been chucked, dude. <laughs> What is that smell? <gasps> ice cream. Definitely ice cream. Oh. I was just wondering, are we still all right for our own TV show? <laughs> oh, yes. I've got a show for you two. Oh. Oh. Tonight on Stop Crime, the terrifying tale of beauticians gone bad. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I might just water like a girl here, there. Make a fortune on cheese... 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 Bay. cheese... Bay. cheese... Yeah, cheese... Bay. Bay. You, you <laughs> something else. I thought we were here to make him look like an idiot. We're gonna get this, because it's... Cheese. Cheese.